Hello, hello, Cancer, and welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, a trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for April 14th through April 20th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards, so we will get started with this week's theme, Cancer. Again, let's see, we just had the solar eclipse in Aries on April 8th. So comment below and let me know how you survived that shift, right? And we are still in a Mercury retrograde until the 25th and a full moon in Scorpio at the end of this month. So as a fellow water sign, because I'm a Scorpio and, uh, you know, we are definitely going to be in our feelings. Let's see how it goes. We've got the scholar investigation and research. And what's been coming up for cancers has been a shift in the workplace or in the financial sector of your life. So we're going to see how that plays out if it shows back up again. I've got traveler moving in a new direction very well. Some of you may be finding something different to study or different to do with your days. Um, but let we'll get right into it. And then I've got number 50, which reduces to five, change a number of change and being adaptable, going with the flow and zero, all about limitless possibilities, the cosmic womb, right? Things coming into fruition for you. And it reads spirit of the river movement towards adventure. So where are you going, cancer? Because you're definitely going somewhere and it looks like you're taking some time to research it and get behind it this week. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Today, if you've been following me for some time, I am going to do a Celtic cross and we will clarify as needed. I do see the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles as I split the deck. So definitely a new opportunity or on the horizon for you in the material. Um, until I clarify, it's hard to tell, but let's see. We've got the Nine of Cups in your central position with the what is the seven of wands crossing? So the, in your present position and how you're viewing your situation is the nine of cups, which is great. So I feel like you are coming across with this energy of independence and emotional strength. I feel that, um, you know, you are looking at the world and your situation a little bit differently with a little bit more confidence, right? There's this feeling of knowing your worth and being ready to take a leap into something, um, Unchartered waters is what I'm hearing. Well, that makes sense. Movement towards adventure here and literally read spirit of the river. So what's, you know, what's crossing you at this time? What's stopping you from experiencing this limitless feeling of um, nine of cups, right? Nine of cups. Again, this person is ready to receive their blessings. They're sitting there as if they were royalty, right? If you look at the nine of cups, they are seated like the kings and queens of the deck on a throne. Well, now, it looks like a throne. They feel like it's a throne, but and quite frankly, this is a common person feeling their absolute best. And I feel like that's what you're, what you're going through, right? You're going through this period of, you know what? Things have been way worse. I'm doing okay. You know, I'm feeling good about my life and I'm going to pursue this thing. I'm going to, I'm going to go after it. And what's stopping you or what's going on? You feel a little bit guarded. Seven of wands. So seven of wands shows up when maybe you have to fight for something you want. You need to put more energy to, into it, or perhaps someone is um, blocking you. So then we've got in your, um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Too many cards flew out. So then we've got the eight of cups and that has been like, what's led up to this revelation? What has gotten you to the place that you're ready to sit in that uh, nine of cups energy and fight for? It's because you want more. So this is a beautiful story. Basically, this person walking away from the eight full cups says, I want more in my life. You know, things are okay where I am. The house is okay. The job's all right. The bills are getting paid, right? It, it's You're not making this decision to evolve out of a place of desperation or um, upset. You're making this choice to evolve from a place of ease. That's how it's coming through. And it's like you're willing to fight for it because you've, you know, cancers, you spend a lot of time caring for other people and nurturing other people and being everywhere for everyone all the time. And we've been talking about this for months now. You know, it's time for you to step out of that perceived role 
right? Because it's a perception and it's time for you to step into your greatness, your excellence, your year of success. And so how are you going to do that? By fighting for what you want and going after it. This eight of cups is about taking action, right? So <clears throat> let's look at this here. What is likely to occur this next week as you go to pursue your independence? What do we have for cancer? Too many cards came up. One moment. What do we have for cancer? I see the eight of wands. I'm going to take it. So we have the eight of cups and eight of wands. This is all about you taking the action and bringing it into material form. Eight is a number of abundance, success, right? And things coming into fruition. So you really are bringing about what you think about. And this is amazing because I don't see anything stopping you. We're going to keep going, obviously, but there is this all system goes go energy. Somebody just flipped up one second. Queen of cups, you show up in your own reading. So this is going to be about you know, what it is consciously that you want to see happen. Like, what do you hope would happen? And Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups is, she's nurturing. She has a deep understanding of others. And this is your energy. And I feel that what you're hopeful will happen after this period of transition and following through with your desires is that you sit in a place of power and compassion and love and you're able to live a more balanced life. I feel that you're looking to live a life that's less guarded, right? Maybe you have to be in your masculine energy a lot and cancer, it doesn't matter if you're feminine, masculine or how you identify. That's not what this is about. This is more about the energies that each human, right, each corporeal being has within them. We all house a balance, whether it's an equal balance or not, that's not the point. We all house a balance of <clears throat> negative, or I'm sorry, po uh, start over, feminine energy and masculine expressions. So when you're in your feminine expression, you are nurturing your birthing ideas, you're being creative, you're, you know, um, being emotional and nurturing. And when you're in your masculine, you are building, revamping, um, you know, tearing things down, building them back up. You are also maybe fighting for what you want and, and having to be on the defensive. So there's an energy here of you're hopeful to step more into that more feminine vibration where you have a chance to be at ease and maybe show nurturing and loving tender moments towards others, right? And maybe you have to make some sort of... Um, of change to make that happen. Maybe your environment isn't conducive to your, um, to who you are, right? Like if you're always in an environment where you have to be on edge, it's not conducive to that queen of cups. So then you'd be out of alignment. <clears throat> All right. So then what are your feelings about this? Three of swords, right? So I think that as you transition to this place of making a shift where you are more independent and you are following your desires and taking that leap and breaking away from the past, there might be some heartache there. It might be also that, <clears throat> you know, you're feeling maybe not as supported as you should by the people around you, right? And you're feeling like maybe... Uh, in the past, things have come up that have placed you again on the defensive. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, you know, you are hopeful for a situation where you can be nurturing and loving, but there's a lot of heartache here that's potentially blocking you from sitting in that space of ease. So let's keep going. What's the advice for cancer? What's the advice for cancer, please? Eight of Swords. So this is the third number eight you have in your reading, which is fascinating because that's that's actually what that reduces to 24, 24, six. So that's a Venusian number it represents Taurus. Also love, harmony, balance, harmonious union coming into right relationship. There's something here about you being blocked with that narrative. This is self limiting beliefs and self imposed restrictions, maybe not feeling like it's safe to proceed. And <clears throat> I feel like the advice here is, you know, to start looking at things outside of what you already 
assume are the solutions. So let me start over. Let's say you're trying to break away from a pattern, right? And let's just say this pattern is a career that doesn't serve you and you're trying to break away from it. You could really have some self-limiting beliefs about how that has to happen. Perhaps you work a traditional corporate job and you want more freedom in your life, but yet here you are looking for another traditional corporate job because somewhere inside you believe that that's your only path forward or it's the most stable approach. So spirit saying, no, you know what? You need to think outside of what you know and, and start exploring other options because <clears throat> that's going to be the more successful path for you to branch out. So the same thing if you're in relationship or looking for a new relationship, um, wherever it is that you are about to start something new and create a new pattern, right? It seems that the, the limitations are you keep going back to an algorithm that's familiar to you and you're limiting your scope of reach. <clears throat> All right, so let's keep going. What influences are affecting cancer as cancer tries to break free and have independence? What is influencing cancer at this time? Hey, seven of pentacles, wondering if it's going to be worth it. <clears throat> so I feel like you're doing a lot of hard work. You're planning, you're thinking about it. You're taking a leap of faith, but there's apprehension, of course, right? Human stuff, apprehension. Isn't going to be worth it. I've put a lot of effort into this. You know, I've gotten up every day at four in the morning, gone to bed by seven, you know, eight o'clock at night. I'm ready to, you know, shift my thinking. I've been meditating. That's what I'm hearing. I've been meditating. I've been working out. I've been going to therapy. I've been watching my money, watching my weight. Like I feel cancer, like you guys are doing everything you're supposed to do. And you're like, when is this going to pan out for me? I still feel stressed. I still feel in my masculine. I still feel on guard and defensive. When am I going to feel at ease? So I think that whenever I see the seven of pentacles, and especially because we're at the time of year, you know, wherever you are, it might be slightly different, but here it's spring and things are blossoming and coming out and the sun is shining. And I feel like, you know, cancer, this is going to be a time that you're going to see the fruits of your labor materialize, but it is going to be the catalyst for you to make some changes because <clears throat> there is a pivot going on here. So we've got hopes and fears, Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is in pursuit. They're in pursuit of romantic love, creative expression. They're in pursuit of um, community as well. So I feel like this is you, again, going towards it, saying, okay, I'm going to try it, and reacclimating into society but not the same as before. So let me try to say that again. It's almost like you've had a lot of apprehension about getting back out there, right? And again, that could be a new job, new crew. It could be all of it, right? <clears throat> like a new soul tribe vibes. And I feel like there comes this point where it's like, will I make it? Will I be enough? Will I be accepted? Will I be, am I awkward? I don't know. It's this weird energy that I'm getting like that um, you're ready to do it, but there's this apprehension because your mind's still thinking about the way things used to be and how, how your experience was before. That, that's really fascinating. So I'm hearing to let that go and to pursue it, right? Be, anything that you pursue at this point, King of Cups, or I'm sorry, Knight of Cups in pursuit of something that is emotionally fulfilling, it's going to align with that Queen of Cups energy and place you in an abundant mindset as well. Because when we're in alignment with our true goals, when we're in alignment with what we're supposed to be experiencing, things start to fall into place slightly differently and things, you know, you start attracting more experiences of ease. So what is the outcome for cancer? Ace of Pentacles. Th I saw this in the very beginning when I was shuffling your cards and I even said something about it. And this is a new beginning in the material. So go after it, right? As long as it's something that you want, not something that you're being pushed into, not something that is, you know, um, second best, meaning like, well, it's not what I really wanted, but I guess I'll do this. Because even though the cards suggest there is pivoting happening this week, it's pivoting towards your desires, not away from them. And this is about being in alignment and moving towards it. 
gives you a brand new beginning in the material. Some of you might be experiencing a move, but like I said in the very beginning, a potential job shift. I want to clarify just a little bit more. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles for Cancer, please, Spirit. What oh, is Ten of Wands. This new beginning is going to allow you to put down some burdens. This person is heading home right? In the 10 of wands. And the idea is when they cross that threshold, which this came up for Pisces. So check out that reading if you are involved with the Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. But it's when you cross that threshold to what truly is home for you, you can release the heaviness. You can put down the burdens and you can relax. And that's how it's coming through. Anything else about that Ace of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. So this is like slow and steady. The Knight of Pentacles isn't always, um, sometimes it's like, it's the slow, look, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And Cancer, your readings have suggested that it's taking you a long time to get to this portion of your experience where you're going to take the leap of faith. And that's okay because the story of the Knight of Pentacles is that they already have everything they need and they have a field here where they can plant, right? all of the seeds to be the most successful and abundant, right? Farmer, knight, whatever person that there is. So you have everything you already need within you. You've got the tools in place, the settings here. It's a matter of now eight of swords. I'm sorry, eight of, well, you do, you have the eight of swords, you know, releasing this limiting beliefs, eight of wands, right? Taking action to pursue your eight of cups. So let's go ahead and look at the shadow work this week for cancer, please. Let's look at the shadow work for cancer as you are in pursuit of your excellence and abundance this year, right? And I see the most, I, I tell you for the collective period, I have seen all year and starting last year with the last eclipse in October, <clears throat> And as many of you might know, and if you don't, that's cool, that eclipses happen in six month cycles. So whatever you were starting and thinking about and working on last October is up for review again. Same thing. Now that you are working on something, starting something new, you'll revisit it again in six months. So number 14, 14 reduces to five. Five is the Hierophant in the major arcana being in alignment with your divine purpose, also a number of change and adap being adaptable. I can't say adaptability. I mean, I guess I just did, but I have to think it. Regardless, I digress. <clears throat> Number 14, hiding your true self. All right, Cancer, this is the shadow work. Don't hide who you are. No more. And the truth is, I get it. Maybe you've been inward figuring out who you are for a while, right? Because things are changing around you. The people around you and your family, your environment are just different than maybe what you signed up for, right? But that's the point. We are all evolving creatures and you are different than what your person or your environment has signed up for congratulations. That's the point. You've evolved. So now you've got to step into your limelight, step into the strongest and most prominent version of yourself and don't hide for anybody. You know, sometimes I feel like there's this energy of like being a wallflower or being quiet and kind of not drawing attention. But I feel like times are changing and it's going to be time for you to step up, be happy, shine brightly, create and, you know, keep going. And anybody else who takes that life force away from you or has you feeling like you can't express yourself is not for you. This next phase of life is all about like bringing out your inner Leo energy. That's what I'm feeling like bringing out your inner pizzazz. So let's go ahead and see what the empath work is for cancer this week. I have loving the self on all levels. Well, isn't this a beautiful story come full circle? Number six, love yourself on all levels, Cancer. There's nothing wrong with any part of you. If you are not thrilled with who you used to be, you're not that person anymore. If you are not thrilled with who you're becoming, you can make a change. If you're not thrilled with who you are, there's opportunity to inspect, reject, and project, right? So do something different. So love yourself on all levels because had you not been the worst version of you and the best version of you, you wouldn't even know what the gray area is to enjoy it. So this is good stuff for you, Cancer. I feel like you are coming into alignment with your purpose. Your, your vibrational like self is going well, right? You're going to bring about what you think about and better days ahead. I 
feel this is going to work out for you. This is about getting in right relationship with all parts of yourself and releasing the rest. So remember, Cancer, we are all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And remember, these are general readings. So if you're looking for a more personal experience, please feel free to book a session at www.starswithstasi.com. You can order your astrological readings, mediumship readings, and tarot readings there. I would love to work with each and every one of you. Don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff. Share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop some comments, show some love. I respond to each and every one of you, and I love, love, love talking to you guys. Also, if you're looking to support my channel, you can also join the members only where I do additional live streams and we have more intimate conversations and I answer a lot of air esoteric questions and we're building a great strong community of light workers there. And again, I would love to see you guys more. So until next week, Cancer, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead and shine brightly.